Hi, this is Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years, and today I want to talk to you about a couple of special cases of slope. Now, slope measures how much a line inclines or declines away from the horizontal. So let's just look at a couple of examples. Let's look at the points 1, 4, and 3, 4. Now, slope is the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. So in our case, our y-coordinates are 4. So on the top, I've got 4 minus 4. And on the bottom, I have the difference in my x-coordinates, so 1 minus 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, but 0 over negative 2 is just 0. So I have a slope of 0. Now, since slope is measuring how much a line inclines or declines away from the horizontal, this line, the one that joins these two points, isn't inclining or declining at all away from the horizontal. It's sloping zero. Therefore, this will be a horizontal line. It will be parallel to the x-axis. So let's look at another example. Let's say we have the points 4, 1 and 4, 3. Again, I'm just going to calculate the slope as normal. I'm going to take the difference in my y-coordinates, so 1 minus 3, over the difference in the x-coordinates, 4 minus 4. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and 4 minus 4 is 0. But we're trying to divide by 0, and that's not defined. So here we have a slope that is undefined. Now, whenever you have a slope that's undefined, that means it's a vertical line. So this line will be parallel to the y-axis. Anytime you calculate a slope of 0, you've got a horizontal line. And anytime you calculate a slope that is undefined, where you're trying to divide by 0, you'll get a vertical line. And those are a couple of special cases of the slope. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.